Hey guys, so I am doing a review, which is a little bit overdue, but it's fine, on these wonderful, wonderful lip things. They are the Outlast, oh, they all have stickers on them, Outlast All Day Lip Color from CoverGirl, like the highest of praises. Now I, let me give you a little background, I was not a lip color person at all. And then I started wearing, like, I had one kind of, like, lip stain thing, and it was pink. And so I was like, oh, this isn't that bad. I think I'll just keep using that. And so I did. <sighs> I dropped them on the floor. But, um, so I was using them and didn't, you know, whatever. But I saw these at my King Supers, which is also, like, Kroger, if you guys have Kroger fries. I don't remember what other what else they're called, but they were on clearance for 50% off. Now, they were normally like $7.59-ish. Let me know how much they are normally down below, depending on where you go. There, they were like $7.59 at Target. They're like $8.29, and you know. So, they were 50% off of all of them because Tar or because CoverGirl was discontinuing a bunch of their colors, and so they were these colors. So I saw them and I looked at them and I was like, mm, because they were like $3.64, I believe. And so then I was like, mm, well, that's not that bad. I might get one later. Went to work, saw there was a coupon for $2 off of one of them. So of course I'm going to go back and get them for $1.64. So the first one I purchased was Forever Fawn. And it comes with the lip color and then the moisturizing top coat which I will get to in a second. So Forever Fawn is kind of just like a tan nude. You can see that. Let me take this bracelet off real quick so you guys can get some swatches going. Um, Forever Fawn ooh, looks a little bit darker on my hand than it does on my lips but it's a tan nude that I enjoy because that's the color that I kind of go to most often, especially at work, blah, 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 so that is what that one looks like, and this one's the one I wear the most, and it's not, it's got a little bit of shimmer to it, but not a lot, like you can't tell, because it's good, because I don't really like it, but I always do it thinner than that, but Forever Fawn is the tan color, and I don't know if they have it anymore now, and then the uh, second one I got was Crushed Shells, which is kind of a lighter pink, which I'm actually wearing right now. Um, but it looks darker than it does on my lips, kind of. I don't know. Um, but it's a lighter pink that's not too, like, oh my god, pink. Like, I have a pink that's like, wee, like it's super pink, like Barbie pink, like I'll show you. That one. But there's this one, and again, it looks a little bit different on my arm than it does actually on my lips. But there is, if I keep doing it like that, that's this one, which is a lighter pink, which is nice for days where I want to have pink. You know, I mean, come on throw those away now. And then the last one I got was Sunkissed, which I was actually a little bit hesitant about getting, but it, because these were in the nude section, so Forever Fawn is like, you know, the fall type nude when you want your lips to be a little bit darker, but not like too dark. This one is for when you want a pop of pink, but it's not too pop of pink. It's like pretty natural looking. And then this one is for when you want them looking like you've been out in the sun all day. Now, a couple weeks ago, we hiked some mountain hill thing we hiked, and I posted a picture in a blue shirt with sunglasses, my hair up, saying, Sunday fun day. I was wearing it in that picture, and you couldn't really tell. So, this one is darker, and it's the least shimmery, but you can't even tell that they're shimmery, so. And I'll put this one over here. Wow, that looks really dark. Um, but it doesn't look that way on lips. I mean, I can do the lip swatches and post them on Instagram and then link them down below when I get them done. But this top one here is that one. So I really like these colors. They're absolutely great. I'm getting them for $1.64. I can't really beat that, but I would absolutely go back and pay the full price for them. And then what happens when you put them on, I did a kind of first impressions type thing when I did a getting ready with me video, which I will link below, which shows me putting it on. 
granulated when I should have waited, but whatever. So you put it on and then you let it dry. And when it dries, it feels like it's very, very unfinished and kind of sticky and just dry and bad. So then you put this on. So yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Hope you liked it. Let me know what you think.